If you want to file a patent on your invention, you will need to know what is already out there globally as well as in the U.S. In this video, we'll cover how to do a basic search in the International Patents Database, ESPASNET. Yes, it's actually pronounced ESPASNET, not eSpaceNet. It's important to note that unlike other databases, this search is very literal and spelling and word variations matter. See the difference between wireless fingerprinting and wireless fingerprint. So for wireless fingerprinting, we get about 90 results. And now for wireless fingerprint, we get 2,200 results. ESPASNET will not be forgiving on plurals or misspellings, and it won't automatically look for related words for you. This might mean you have to run a few searches to see everything. I like to have a dictionary website open in the next tab for spelling help. So I want to look at this fourth patent. And there's a lot here, but there are a few things you might want to look at first. Before we dig in, I want to point out that ESPASNET does something really helpful, which is that you can translate each section of the patent information into another language. You can translate by selecting the language you want and clicking on Patent Translate. So, French. Patent Translate, and here's the abstract in French. What you might want to know right away are the claims, descriptions, and mosaics, which are all found on the left. The claim is the original idea, technology, process, or whatever that this patent covers. So next, I'm going to click on the description. This is the full description of what the invention does, what problem it solves, and how to solve it, and explains all the different parts of the concept in detail. Since these tend to be long, you might want to use Control F or Command F to search for specific information. And lastly, we're going to click on Mosaics. Mosaics are the original drawings and diagrams for a patent. These are only available in the language in which the patent was originally filed and you cannot translate them using ESPASNET. This has been an overview on how to do a search in ESPASNET. You are welcome to register for one of the patent search classes offered in the library, so just check the calendar on the Georgia Tech Library website for the next one that's coming up. 